The Mika Mocha also says, who are you, who is like you doing wonders, doing signs and wonders? So do we believe that God does signs and wonders? Uh, yeah, God does signs and wonders all the time. God is able to do uh, answer to prayer all the time. Sometimes the signs are not very visible. They may be just <laughs> answers to prayer, which we have. I know Brother Samuel here had a tremendous answer to prayer and his health needs just recently. I mean, praise God for that. Uh, but all the time, God is working on behalf of his people. Uh, but there are certain times in history when God actually does if you like, excessive signs and wonders, moves in very visible and uh, dramatic form, showing signs and wonders intervening in time and space here on the earth. Um, and you could think about certain events in the Bible where there, it, God intervenes with signs and wonders, and in his intervening in signs and wonders, he makes a significant change in what we call the dispensation, the age in which he's going to be dealing with people following that time. Uh, there are five major events which took place in history. First of all, the creation itself, then the events of the fall, the expulsion from the Garden of Eden, the events which followed that, then the flood, then the exodus, and then the time, time of the Messiah, Messiah Jesus. Jesus. Uh, in all of those times, there were exceptional signs and wonders. There were exceptional signs in which God intervened in human affairs. There are two more which are coming, the second coming of Jesus and all the events which surround that, surround that. And then the end of the world, the after the millennial kingdom, in which God will create new heavens and new earth. So all these major interventions came with a change in the dispensation or the age. 